the most wonderful egg. Written and illustrated by Helmi Hind. There's a bunch of chickens and it looks like there's a king. The most wonderful egg. The most wonderful egg in the world, excuse me. It's the most wonderful egg in the world. Once upon a time, a long time ago, three hens were quarreling about which of them was the most beautiful. Dottie had the most beautiful feathers. Stocky had the most beautiful legs. Stocky, like corn stalk. Long legs. And Plumy had the most beautiful crest. Sometimes it's called a plume. Since they could not settle their quarrel among themselves, they decided to ask the king for his advice. Go that, that way to find the king. <laughs> what you can do is more important than what you look like, said the king. Whichever one of you lays the most wonderful egg, I will make a princess. Now this always, this page always seems kind of funny to me because look at what he's eating right there. He went out into the palace park followed by all the hens in the kingdom. It looks like they're walking towards this really big hen, but this is like another. This, this happens, and then this happens. Dottie pretended her beautiful, oh, Dottie preened her beautiful feathers before settling herself in the wet grass. It was not long before she cackled, stood up, and stepped aside. Everybody was speechless. There lay an egg. Snow white, spotless, and perfectly shaped. The eggshell shimmering like polished marble. This is the most perfect egg I have ever seen, cried the king. And all the hens nodded. See the most perfect egg? Look at how perfectly round it is and white and shimmering. Then it was Stocky's turn. Everybody felt a little sorry for her. They knew she could not lay a more perfect egg. It was impossible. After 10 minutes, Stocky cackled, got up, and stretched her legs proudly in the morning sun. The king clapped his hands for joy. There lay an egg of such size and weight that even an ostrich would have been jealous. Really big, huh? This is the biggest egg I have ever seen, cried the king, and all the hens nodded. While they were still nodding, Plumy settled herself carefully on the ground. Everybody felt extremely sorry for her. They knew she could not lay a more perfect or bigger egg. It was unthinkable. Modestly and with cast down eyes, she sat there. Now look at there, all, they all have these thought bubbles going on in their head. We gotta look at the picture here. So this one's thinking of that. And that one's thinking, well, maybe two. And this one's thinking, well, maybe a little tiny one. And that one's thinking a fried one. <laughs> and that one's not thinking anything at all. You can't really see this one very well. Oh, a big one and a little one is what's there. And then this one's just, oh, well, this one just loves that chicken. But the king's thinking maybe it'll be a golden egg. I can't show you the picture. Then, with only a small cackle, she got up to reveal an egg that would be talked about for the next 
hundred years. Before them lay a square A. Each side was straight, as if drawn with a ruler, and each surface shone in a different color. How did she do that? This is indeed the most fantastic egg I have ever seen, cried the king, and all the hens nodded. You know what 3D shape that is. What's that one called? So, do you think that Plumy is the winner? It was impossible to say which egg was the most wonderful. So the king decided that all three hens, Dotty, Stocky, and Plumy, should be made princesses. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's painting her plume the color of a crown. Then maybe he'll paint this one and this one, too. Oh, he did. If you look in the canoe, look at it. They're all painted. And from that day to this, they have been the best of friends and have happily gone on laying extraordinary eggs. Look at the sun, or maybe it's the moon. It kind of looks like a golden egg, doesn't it? I kind of like that story. It's kind of silly, but I kind of like it. I hope you liked it.